Ladies and gents, a big hand for the Jazz Boys! Good afternoon and welcome to a bitterly cold Saturday, the first weekend of December. But today we hope the heat on the pitch will be enough to take the balls through to the next round of today's Isuzu FA Vars, the third round proper. The entertaining visitors today, having won their last game 4-0, are Athletic Newham, who beat Kennington in the previous round, a convincing victory for them. Well, the Bulls haven't had the best two results in the last two weeks, but as Gary said in the midweek and at the end of last week, long way to go in the season, and this is the cup. This is the Vars, and it's an important step in the Bulls' journey. Four games away from Wembley if the Bulls can secure a home victory here today. Well, the Bulls were looking pretty sharp as they were warming up pre-game. They're going to need to be off and out of the blocks today. Newham looked to be quite a strong physical athletic side, perhaps athletic coming from their name, but they certainly look like they have a bit of pace and skill about them. They will be a tough team from the Eastern Counties South Division. Also step five and having have a very good start to their own season. The official in the middle today is Jordan McCritchie from Fairham. He has Fernando Costash of Uxbridge and a local boy in Luke Nerach from Jersey. Newham just doing their final huddle and very soon we will get this game going. Now well, Mr McCritchie checks his watch. And we're underway here. Peter Media just looking for options, plays it forward. Nice ball there in towards Sadie. Sadie still has it. Cuts inside, Sadie still going, plays it forward. Now chance here for Athletic. And they've scored! Well, it was a bit too easy perhaps there. Athletic getting through the Bulls defence and it looks like it may well be. Just going to check who's actually got the final touch to that. Played in though. Is it their skipper Appiah who's got the final touch on that one? Well, it was all just a little bit too easy, you feel. Ball played inside and the Bulls find themselves behind again. Already. Number eight. And it was it was Jailson Sadie who got the final touch and scored the goal. And the Bulls find themselves trailing already here at Springfield. Now Jay Giles, well he's played it through. Johnny Lacane now cuts inside, gets the better of Naguida, takes the shot. He, he scores! Well, you felt this was going to come here at some point. They have not been particularly strong at the back, Athletic Newham. And Boateng is asked to do one thing, and that is to make a pretty straightforward save. And he can't do it. Well, it looks like the referee goes across to the other side, but it's a goal, it's going to count, and the balls are back level. Johnny Lacane. Well, Richard Wilkinson Boateng, when he looks back at that, will wonder how on earth that has crept in. No real power in the shot from Johnny Lacane, but good enough to beat Boateng. And if the Bulls needed anything and any kind of inspiration in this match, they have got to go at Newham's back four. Well won again, this time Johnny Lacane. Well, he's coming into the game a bit here, Johnny Lacane. He's certainly running around that midfield. He's challenging, he's won a couple of good balls recently. And it's where the pressure is coming. It's coming from Johnny Lacane. It's coming down that right-hand side. Lucky Mamati and Tobin and Henny Kamau and Giles on the left starting to get into this game more as they start to release the ball quickly. Here comes Tobin again, trying to get down that right-hand side. He crosses it. Keeper's not... It's there! It's there! Well, he's deserved it. Johnny Lacane, what a lovely ball played in there. First time it gets across the back for Boateng and Naguido. The Obi, they are all completely caught out by the first time ball. And in the end, what looks like the symbol is the tap in for Johnny Lacane. And the Bulls have the lead. Well, you just Where felt that the pressure was mounting on Athletic. 
they have been a little bit unsure at the back here nobody even tried to slide in to stop that cross that came in from the far side and it was Johnny Lacane who steals in at the back post he gets his second he gets the Bulls second and the Bulls now lead in this third round proper tie of the FA Vars Jersey Bulls two Athletic Newham one Throwing comes Rouge Tail. And ball played forward again, looking for Bickley. Well, there has been a change, and Barbosa is on, and now the ball's ball played by to Bickley. Can Bickley get there? Lorne Bickley! He's crossed, has he got it? He has! Lorne Bickley has done it! Somehow, a really tight angle there. Boateng comes out, Lorne Bickley keeps his feet. A little bit of a lift of the ball over and it rolls into the net and Jersey Bulls get their third. Lorn Bigley is your scorer. The Bulls three, Athletic New and one, and you just wonder, is that the killer goal in this tie? Well, Lorn Bigley never lets the team down. He gets little chance in this match up to now and he gets the time, he holds himself, he composure and the ability to just find the goal from that tight angle. Well, Boateng has his hands on his hips. He may well feel disappointed at that. But you've got to credit Lorne Bickley with the finish. Class from him. The Bulls three. New and one. Ball played quickly forward. Johnny Lacane. Johnny Lacane shoots. He scores! Well, unbelievable from Johnny Lacane because he took the shot with his left foot. Keeper! was not expecting it he hasn't been at his best today Wilkinson Boateng and on this occasion it's a near post shot it's got about a foot between the keeper and the post and it it goes in well Johnny Lacane probably has nailed the man of the match award the player of the match award he's certainly probably nailed a spot in the fourth round proper for the Bulls they're fourth of the game they're now in a commanding lead Johnny Lacane on 76 it's Jersey Bulls four it's Athletic New and one and if it wasn't all over before that, it surely is now. The Bulls marching forward to the fourth round proper. Now Hiobi down towards the left-hand side, crosses it, falls to the middle, half a chance, half a shot, cleared eventually there by Jack Steele. And now Henia Kamau and it's two on three at the moment it's now Bickley and down comes Johnny Lecane can Bickley get past he does he squares it no he scores he takes the shot himself well it looked like for all the money Lorne Bickley was going to square it to Johnny Lecane for a civil tap in it looked like Boateng thought the same he maybe shifted his weight slightly onto his left it left the gap at the near post and Lorne Bickley said thank you very much back of the net it's 5-1, it is all over now. The Bulls are in the fourth round proper. What a bounce back victory this has been. After the last two games at Springfield at home, they have come out strong today and they have made this cup time their own. Lorne Bickley with his second, Jersey Bulls fifth. Trotter loses it. Saidi has it and now it's Cone Tobin standing up Cone gets past shoots blocked again in the middle this time Campbell and ball comes in good save well it does fall in the end to Ezekiel who takes a shot first time looks to switch it but Steele is there solid ball forward in fact nice ball forward can Trotter get there Trotter's trying to battle with O'Hara Oh, Boateng gets there just in the nick of time to take it away from Trotter. And here come Athletic again. Well, probably sums up their afternoon. And in fact, the loose pass is the last pass of the game. It's all over here at Springfield. The Jersey Bulls have run out riotous winners here, 5-1 in the end. The scoreline deserved by them goals from Johnny Lacane on 19 and 32 Bickley on 68 Lacane again on 77 and Bickley rounds it off with a fantastic goal on 84 to cap off what has been 
a really good, strong team performance from Jersey Bulls today. Athletic Newham, in the end, getting the early goal, but it, it turns out to be only one of consolation. The Bulls will now be in the fourth round proper. They are four games away from Wembley and a chance to play in front of that famous and that fantastic stadium of Wembley and the arch above it. They've deserved it today. Gary Freeman will be delighted, no doubt, and all of the support team, Kevin Nelson, Richard Heber and Dan Sevier. Well, the players make their way from the pitch. It's a 5-1 drubbing of Athletic Newham in the end by the Bulls. They have bounced back from two home defeats. They go forward now to the next round. The next game for the first team will be on Tuesday in the League Cup game against Tadley Kaleva. Athletic Newham tried hard. They done pretty well but in the end the balls were too strong well that's it for us thanks for watching